get excited for this standing abs workout. I know sometimes that you can't get down on the floor, but you still want to work that core. So grab a medium to light free weight, whatever you have around you, and you're going to start with just a nice warm up called a figure eight twist. So you're gonna rotate that weight from side to side, and when you do, I want you to think about abs in tight. You're gonna do about 10 reps on each side here with me. All right, so you're rotating. When I bend my knees, it's just taking a little pressure off my back. Okay, so we're going side to side. Halfway there, you guys, so 10 on each side. Keep the abs engaged. Almost there, guys. <sighs> Breathing. You got it. <sighs> nice. Last one, awesome. Okay, now you can set that weight down. We're gonna do a sumo squat and side bend. This is one of my favorites. Really gets those obliques and it engages the legs too. So you get those lower abdominals engaged. We're gonna bend side to side. We're trying to bring that elbow down to the knee and we're trying to stay nice and low. If you have to come up a little bit, that's okay. Keep the stomach tight and you're just giving it nice extension here. Back and forth. Try to stay lower if you can to try and get that elbow all the way down to the knee. For most of these moves, we're doing 10 on each side. So just breathe through it. Keep the abs engaged. Only go as far as you feel comfortable. Don't strain your back here. You're getting a lot of lateral movement through the sides. Good. Boom. Awesome job. Next, we're going to go into a straight leg kick. So you don't need weight for this. You could add weight if you wanted to, but I want you to start without weight. You're gonna take one foot forward, one back. You're gonna kick forward, abs tight, as if you're doing a straight leg crunch. So engage the core, reach towards the toe. Good, and breathe. As you kick the leg up, exhale, right? That's where the exertion comes from. You are using a little bit of that hip flexor, so pull from the stomach as much as you can. Now switching sides, see how I lost my balance there? All right, so that's because I wasn't as engaged with my core. So think about tightening it up, breathing each time, thinking about that crunch move. Lower abdominals are getting worked here. Good. Nice job. Last one. Beautiful. Ah, oh, one for good measure. All right, now standing oblique crunch. So what I want to do here is have my feet hip width apart, a little wider base if you need the balance help, and you're going to bring elbow to knee. So I'm trying to get that lateral oblique side crunch here by bringing my knee up to meet my elbow. This is not easy, right? Because you do have to have mobility through your hips. Yes, I know, and I'm not the most flexible. So here, my abs are working extra hard to really pull that leg up, bending the torso, getting that nice crunch. Good, you're engaging all those core muscles. 10 on each side, you're doing good. Remember to breathe, back and forth. Nice job, couple left. Last one, beautiful. Now, we're gonna grab our weight again, and we're gonna go into a high knee march with a figure eight. So take your weight in hand, use a light weight at first. This one requires a lot of balance. You're gonna pick the knee up, come across the body in a figure eight. As you go to the other side, pick the opposite knee. So you're going across the body, lifting the knee, which is weight, right? So you're using your core here. Exhale as you cross the body each time. All right, so you really get that exertion. Shh, try to keep your balance. Good, and you gotta keep that core engaged so you don't fall over to the side. If you wanted to, you could pick your leg up a little less, do a little mini march. Good, couple left, here we go. Boom, oh my goodness. So your core feels warm, right? It's getting there. Next, we're gonna go with a wood chopper. So hang on to that weight. What you want is your feet wide again. You're gonna bend your knees, turn your torso, bring that weight down towards the knee, and then up over the shoulder. You're extending, but pulling the core in strong. So you're here to here, keeping your abs engaged and getting that rotation. Your, your hips are gonna rotate a little bit here with that torso. And as you throw that weight up over your shoulder, you have to slow it down with your abs. Breathe. Last one on this side. Beautiful, now let's go to the other side. So remember, bend, extend, and keep those core muscles engaged 
and breathe. Exhale on the way up. Inhale, exhale. Good, nice work. And as you're throwing that weight up, remember you're trying to slow the weight down and use your core. Back and forth, looking good. Last couple. Boom, you got it. Whoo! Awesome. Now, I love this next one, okay? This is gonna be the trunk twist, but we're giving you a weight. So you're holding onto that weight either this way or this way. And you're gonna do a trunk twist, but it's short and it's quick. So here, I just have to really engage. We're doing 20 total. You can do totally more if you want to, right? But go for about 20. Woo! All right, and love that one. I don't care if you keep going, because I love how it's isometric and you're stabilizing. Next, we're doing rainbow, but you're on one foot. So it's a single-legged rainbow over the head with the weight, and you're just going back and forth here. So as the weight comes to one side, you're really using the lateral sides of the muscles in the core to stabilize you so you don't fall. Now my leg is up as high as I can keep it so that my lower abdominals are also working. And we're doing 10 total here before we switch sides. Last one, boom, and then the other side, right? Here we go. Come on, stick with me now. I hope your breath is starting to get up a little bit, right? Because using the core gets that cardio up, which is why I love it. And it gets that whole torso to stay strong, support that spine. So there's so many reasons to have a tight and strong core, not just the flat belly, but the strong spine, right? Last one. Boom, okay. Next we're gonna go lateral raise with a crunch. So I'm gonna stabilize on one foot and I'm gonna do a lateral raise with my leg and I'm gonna crunch using the upper body. So here, as my leg comes up, I'm bringing my elbow towards my knee, but I'm not trying to crush my spine here and do a total side bend. I'm trying to just use these muscles to lift and then squeeze together. Woo! Right, so you're working a little bit of glutes here as well. And this is a great move to do when you're standing in line or whatever you're doing. Let's switch sides, right? 10 on each side. Here we go. Lift and squeeze. And notice how I'm not just letting that leg flop to the ground. I'm trying to control it. That's where we're really gonna feel the strength happening when we're controlling our movements and we're not just using momentum, right? So kind of keep that balance. Ah, stabilize. Slow on the way down and slow on the way up. Good. Breathe, last one, awesome job. Next, I wanna take a bent over row with a rotation. So this is gonna get the back obliques as well as a little bit of upper body, okay? So you're gonna go into a little split lunge here. And with the row, you want the weight in front. As you pull it up, you're gonna give it a little rotation. All right, it's not a big one. You're not opening up your whole body. You're just twisting a little bit here. So your legs are working a little bit, upper body. And you're getting a little twist. <sighs> Exhale on the way up. Inhale on the way down. Good, so back obliques. Nice work, you guys. The heavier your weight is, the harder this one is. Good, let's go one more. And then we'll switch it up, boom. Oh, oh my goodness. All right, so you can't neglect the back, right? We really do wanna have a strong back and core. That's all together, that's all a part of your core. Your back, your obliques, frontal abdominals. Good, so twisting. Adding that little bit of rotation. It's getting those back obliques a little engagement. Good work, you guys. Stabilizing one more, boom. Now, this one, I want you to come down onto your side if you have time and space below you. I said it was a standing, but this is a bonus because it's one of my favorites, right? So the oblique crunch, the side up. Now, you can go bent knee or straight legs. So straight legs would be right here. Bent knee would be here. And you're just tapping the booty to the floor and lifting. Tap and lift. Do the modified version if you need to because a lot of the body weight here provides a lot of resistance. So. If you gotta decrease that resistance right now, do it, lift and lower. Try to get 10 of these. This is like my favorite move ever because this really does incorporate everything. Let's go the other side, back and forth. Good, and stabilize, and then we lift. Up and down, tap and lift. 
You don't have to go all the way to the floor, especially if you're all the way on your feet. That angle is not always going to feel so comfortable. So just doing that little lift here is really engaging all those muscles. Remember, modify if you need to. Get to 10. You got two more. Come on. One. Good. And two. Awesome job with that circuit. If you have time, run through it one more time. Great job today.